Chapter 8, Lesson 3, Representing Linear Functions. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is a definition of a linear equation. A linear equation is an equation whose graph is a line. All right, now the question is, though, how do we get that graph? And that's what we're going to look at today. Now, a linear equation, when we find the solution of it, it is a line. And the solution of an equation, if it has two variables, like what we're going to look at, maybe y equals 5x minus 2, the solution of an equation with two variables, so an x and a y, isn't just one number. It consists of two numbers. Okay, and when we want to find solution, we need to make a table. Okay, so when we have y equals negative 2x plus 5, we're going to make a table, and our table is simply just going to be some x and y values. We're going to choose some small values, 0, 1, 2, 3. For x, the reason that we choose small values is that we want them to fit on our graph. So we're going to plug in a 0 for x. So negative 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So if we plug in a 0 for x, if x equals 0, y is going to equal 5. If x and then I'm going to continue to plug in my values. So if x is 1, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 5 is 3. If x is 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 5 is 1. If x is 3, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 5 is negative 1. Now, if I did them correctly and I graphed them correctly, my points should all make a line. So I'm going to say I'm going to graph these points 0, 5, 1, 3, 2, 1, and 3, negative 1. All right? So I'm going to graph 0, 5. I'm going to graph 1, 3. I'm going to graph 2, 1. And I'm going to graph 3, negative 1. I notice they all form a line. I want to use my ruler and make a line that goes beyond the points and put arrows on both ends because that line can go on forever. Okay, I also want to talk about the x and the y intercept. The x intercept is the place where my line crosses the x axis. And my y-intercept is the place where my line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so let's go back to our previous graph. And let's see if we can find our x and y-intercept. So if I want to find the x-intercept, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to look along the x-axis so here's my x-axis, and I'm going to see where does that line cross. And this is the point right here where it crosses. Now, I don't have a point drawn there, but I can see that it is right between the 2 and the 3. So I would say my x-intercept of this graph is at 2.50. And my y-intercept is right here, and there's a point, so I know exactly where it is for sure. And that y-intercept is at 0, 5. Now, in general, every time that I find an x-intercept, my x-intercept is going to be somewhere along this x-axis. All x-intercepts, any point that's along that axis, will have a y-value of 0 because it does not go up or down. And vice versa with my y-intercept, my y-intercept has all x-values of 0 because it doesn't move left to right, only up or down to have a point along this line. Now, if I want to find the x-intercept, I am going to plug in a 0 for y. And if I want to find the y-intercept, I'm going to plug in a 0 for x. So let's look at an example. The x-intercept, I'm going to plug in a 0 for the y. So I'm going to take this equation. And I'm going to write negative 2x plus 0 equals 4. And I'm going to solve that equation. So plus 0 is nothing, so negative 2x equals 4. Divide by negative 2, and x equals negative 2. So my x-intercept is at negative 2, 0.
And if I want to graph that, it's going to be 1, 2, negative 2, 0. To find the y-intercept, I plug in a 0 for x. So negative 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. So 0 plus y equals 4, y equals 4. So my y-intercept is x is 0 and y is 4. And I could plot that point, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my point, and I can even make my line. I can use my ruler and know that that line will go right through those two points.